Bye. Right, hello ladies and gents. First of all, let me say to you, Happy New Year. Thank you for joining us here in 2023. Happy New Year to you, John. Happy New Year, Jack. And to all of you watching as well. So, it's the return of unboxings. A lot of people, for whatever reason, there's a lot of maniacs out there that like this sort of thing. Including us. Well, including and we enjoy doing them as much as you enjoy watching them, but we just don't often get the time. But we've actually made it a purpose today. We've actually set time aside to do this with one of the arguably most important brands that we have. Certainly the most variety of guitars as well that we get to unbox. So we're gonna take a deep dive into Fender Custom Shop today. Now in this first video, you're gonna see a small portion of the total shipment that we've had, because we had loads, loads and loads of guitars. We couldn't squeeze them all into one video. So stay tuned to the channel and over the course of the next two, maybe three videos, you will see the full entirety of the shipment. Today though, we're gonna give you a little teaser with 10. And we don't know what they are. They're completely at random. Uh, just taken straight off the lorry, brought into the room. Haven't played them, haven't seen them, nothing. No. Unless you know more than I do. No, no, it's been too busy to uh, do anything as nice as uh, have a look at a guitar recently. So um, I'm going to enjoy this as much as uh, yeah. everybody else. So you're on the journey with us. Well, so. We're just going to get straight into it. Now, would you like to start from your side or my side? Go for it, Jackie boy. Okay. Right, guitar number one, black case. Now, I historically am really bad at specs and you're really good at specs, so I'll let you do most of the talking, I think, okay. once this thing is open. <coughs> Whoa. Oh, that's, uh, that's your Fender, right there. I dare say Stratocaster. Yeah. That's very unusual indeed, isn't it? So, um, limited edition is all I can tell you about this guitar so far, according to the back plate. Fiesta right. Red. Yes, that is a nice Fiesta Red. 60 Strat, so that has uh, straight away quite a nice, cool spec which is a roasted alder body. Uh, does it feel fairly light? Um, perhaps, it's hard to tell because yeah. this has got a mammoth neck. Mammoth neck on it. So, so. it's kind of a little bit imbalanced, uh, but in a way that I quite like. I like a chunky neck. Yep, and what? it's a, a roasted neck as well. So yes, it is. Bird's eye uh, roasted 3A neck. And maybe you're feeling a little bit weak and feeble, Jack, because this <laughs> is a 60s style oval C neck shape. Which oh really? Traditionally, well, isn't do you know that what? large. I haven't had a guitar in my hands for a few, uh, well, a couple Minutes. of weeks. Um, it feels well. You tell me what you think. Right. It feels, I will. It feels a little chunky. Or maybe my maybe, hands have shrunk maybe, in the wash. Maybe, maybe. Really nice anodized. Yeah. Is that? That is yeah, just about uh, yeah, gold. Yeah, anodized isn't it? gold guard. Lovely dark fingerboard on that as well. Yeah. Let's check what the um, is it rosewood or is it blackwood or something like that. Let's have a look. No, it is actually a yeah triple A grade. Uh, rosewood fingerboard. Okay. Lovely and dark that is. And the pickups, let's check the pickups. Yeah, you know what they are. They're hand wound fat 60s pickups, which are a set that I, I really like because they're kind of um, not too hot, but they're just enough just to kind of, you know, if you're using like a, a small amp just to, just to help hit the front end a little bit kind of harder and get a bit more kind of juice out of it, but still backs off really nice with the, uh, with the volume, so. Well, as is always the case, we will film these guitars, we'll film individual videos for every custom level guitar that we get, so I will get to play this thing for you and you will hear how it sounds, but it's important to show you these things as soon as we can and just to give you a few thoughts as well. So we kind of, well, I don't know, do we agree to disagree on this one? I think this is a big neck. Would you say it's just bang in the middle? Well, I'd say it's kind of, yeah, in the middle. It feels okay. like, you know, it feels like a traditional early 60s kind of strat neck to me, but. Could be the, uh, the roasting perhaps is make because it feels a little more, I don't know, never mind. You think the roasting would shrink it a little bit, well, wouldn't you, Jack? Yeah, well, it shrunk my brain, I think, yeah. that's what's happened there. It's all that gin, New Year gin. Okay, so brown case. Brown case, so territory. it's probably going to be something 60s style again. Yeah. It is. So rosewood fingerboard. Total opposite, yeah. almost. So uh, very nice NOS. That is NOS, isn't it? There's no secret little bits of checking on there or anything? Apart like from that. the orange fluff. Yes, just a bit of case fluff. A bit of case fluff. But a Let's pristine a, yeah. looking. Yeah. One for the uh, 60... No, I think it's a 59 with a single oh, ply really? guard like that. Okay. Let's have a look. I may be wrong. Shows but, what I know. But hopefully this will... Um, Shut up the relic haters. <laughs> There's no other way of putting yeah. it. I think you're right actually about that last guitar's neck profile because this feels about the same, yeah. but it's squeaky. So if you like the, the glossy feel, no, it's just a, one for you. Yeah, it's just a good time machine. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a thin skin 
59 Strat NOS, and obviously in three-tone sunburst. Hand-wound 59 Strat pickups. It's that same neck profile, 60 style oval C, 9.5 radius, AAA grey rosewood fingerboard. I've already said about the pickups there, haven't I? I've hand-wound 59 Strat pickups. But yeah, it's just... You know, I, I don't know if you agree, I often find these guitars actually sometimes sound the best. The NOS. Yeah, I think so actually. I, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a psychological. Well, thing, I, no, I actually think they sound more like um, uh, just every position sounds like uh, you know distinct strat. It's cleaner. Yeah, it's crisper. Yeah, yeah. Um, like the relics and the heavier relics and stuff like that are always. I think because you can't help but play a specific way on those guitars. It's always the relic guitars. The relic yeah. guitars, especially the more heavy relic stuff. You're always getting into like more rocky blues well, there's type a depth sort of stuff. To them, isn't there? Yeah, there's more of yeah. A... Whereas this, I almost feel it would be more skinned, cray, yeah. that sort of thing. Yeah. straight away with it. So got to be on your game on with your those game. kind of guitars. All right, another brown case. Now there's no telling whether it will be a Stratocaster or a Telecaster or maybe something different altogether. Oh, okay. It's another 59 with a single ply. This time a relic. Yes, and uh, not a crazy relic either. I mean. No. What, is, what are we looking at here? Is that journeyman relic or? No, I think that would be probably Perhaps a standard a relic heavier. finish. Okay. So well, I think we've had a few of these actually in over the last year or so. So these are the ones with the hand wound Texas special pickups. I'm sure we had oh, right. like a Sherwood green and maybe a couple of different shades of blue in this, in this uh, particular spec as well. So it's a 59 strap, yeah, with the, the hand wound Texas Special Pickups. Um, where, are, where else has it got? Very there? comfortable feeling neck on this. It's, you've just got a little bit of wear happening between, I guess, you know, frets two and 12, Yeah. but in a nice linear way. It yeah. doesn't feel overblown or overdone. It's faded aged shoreline gold. It's really great looking. Yeah, and that is really just classed as a straightforward relic finish. Okay, so we're in 50s land now, or maybe could even be late 59, but. No, Telecaster. Ah, okay. Good old meat and potatoes. Yeah, the variety is working out well so far. So I'm going to stick my neck out here and say 52. Well, what could, could be, be three, right? Yeah, it? well, it's definitely not a no caster. No. 52, 53, maybe. Um, very nice, kind of faint blonde finish. Mm. So again, is this the kind of standard relic? Yeah, standard there? relic level. So it is a 52 Tele relic in faded aged no caster blonde. Yeah. Hand wound, uh, no cast and neck pickup. Yeah. Ash body, like what we'd expect. Not a crazy huge neck. It's actually a this. V profile on this one. Yeah, very yeah. slight. Yeah, slight V. So it's the, the 1056 V neck profile. I mean, this is quintessential yeah. custom shop telly, yeah. really, isn't yeah. it? Most, most guitars I see that are telecasters are around this kind of spec. Um, but they do deviate, actually. You find some are real, really twangy. Some yeah. have more meat to them. Well, that one's a good in-betweeny neck-wise as well because yeah. the, the 50s no-caster profile is often just way too big up at the nut end and it has zero taper. So this is kind of really nice because it's that V profile for <coughs> cowboy chords, but it definitely kind of uh, softens as you go up the, uh, up the top end into more of a C kind of profile as well. But really lovely and light as well. So I like the tint to the neck as well. But sometimes they're way too dark. Yeah, or or actually sometimes they're really pale. Or yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's that's just that just looks great, doesn't it? it does indeed. Okay, what's so this going to be? Ooh. So that's another fifty-nine. So it, uh, I think it is representative. Then this is these so that, are. Yeah, it should be the same as that. Oh, um, hold on oh, a second. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! We've got a squiggle on the We've headstock. got a squiggle, so implies... and just as I noticed, this lovely uh, posh bootlet. Okay, so just to prove that we are doing this in a totally random order, we've got a master built 59 yep. still, Strat. And who is the builder? This is uh, Kyle McMillan. Okay, so a little bit more detailing on the relic here, it looks like. It's not, it's not heavier relics Beautiful than those other guitars, it. but yeah. Yeah, lovely figured, uh, right. what is it, a flame AAA grade neck. It's a 60 style oval C neck profile. Jumbo frets, hand wound Ancho Pablano pickups. Really reminds me of the John English uh, Master Design Series guitar that they did. Oh, it's getting on for nearly nearly 20 years ago, I imagine now, but it was a fantastic uh, limited edition 
relic that they made in master built and like a team built version as well before he sadly passed away but that is a, a really nice looking strat i really like the um the single ply you know the transition look on the 59 just before they changed to that three ply mint guard i know you're going to disagree with me on this but i'm block color over sunburst on a strat almost every time mm. it just pops in a really nice way you and mean uh, an actual block colour rather than a colour over colour, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah or, or any kind of... I just think a, a nice... I mean, the 50s, I guess, was the golden period for that, arguably, with the colours like this. Hmm. Um, in fact, what, did we cover what that is? I think it's Daphne, I think. Yeah, it looks Daphne. Yeah, aged Daphne me, blue. Yeah, I just think there's something about the simplicity of it, the honesty of it. Mm. Maybe I'm getting a little too deep now. Well, I'm put but... it back in its case. Okay, cream case, that doesn't really give much away, does it? That is nice. So, now we're seeing a more of a dirtier looking mint green guard. Very nice looking guitar that is. So That's very, yes, I fully agree. Yeah, black relics, you know. Black guitars up until John Mayer came along, it was always really tough to sell relics and stuff <laughs> in black, but, yeah. but now, not so much. Yeah, well I suppose, when you think about it, you've got Gilmore, You've got Blackmore. I suppose Hendrix played a few yeah, black strats. Yeah. Um, they've always been there, but never quite been at the forefront of most people's no, imagination. No. But I, I always love a black strat. So this is a 63 strat relic. So it's hand wound Texas special pickups, all the body, all that kind of good stuff. It's a maple roasted quarter sawn mm. neck with a roasted fingerboard, 63. Strat neck profile with a 9.5 radius, 6105 frets. I think that kind of... Um, that's about, the, that's about yeah, all you need that's to all know. The, that's all the heavy what? stuff. It must be something in my head because that feels like a bigger neck to me. That does feel bigger. I'm, well. I'm, I'm with you on that one. So perhaps there is something in the roasting process that... <laughs> Will you shut up? I There's don't, nothing, I don't know. nothing to do with the roasting. Great guitar. Great nice. looking Strat. Yeah, that looks great. And we need some more tellies, don't we? Because it's, do. it's been very Strat heavy. But it's a random order, so you're going to get what you're going to get. Now this is uh, certainly a bit different. That looks like carbon. That is a bit of carbon, carbon fibre. Carbon fibre. All right. Okay. So I'm guessing this isn't going to be a vintage, no. uh, vintage derived instrument. Pow! Whoa! That is cool. What did you say about Alexis earlier? Well, it's the Japanese Mercedes, isn't it? As everybody knows, Lexus. So what? Jack's going to get in a lot of trouble for that what? comment, I reckon. Well, blame. Alan Partridge. Uh, uh -huh. what, what? So what? Why? What's Lexus got to do with this? What's happening here? Well, this here? is a collaboration that I, I believe, I think, Ron Thorne saw this one through. I may be wrong, but it's obviously a limited run Lexus color. It's amazing. Fiber. Look yeah. at that skunk stripe on there. And let's see what's going on with some of the specs on this thing. Well, it's very modern, isn't it? So you've got yeah. Two post bridge, noiseless pickups. Quite a slim feeling neck, um, slim and wide, locking tuners. Yeah, the black they... nut on it as well, so it's, it's got kind of a stealthy kind of look, is hasn't it? Is that Spurzel or Charlotte? Spurzel. I can never tell LB, the difference. So this is basically, so the base model is 65 Strat NOS finish. <laughs> no, it's not. There's nothing well, 60s about no, this, is No, I think there? it's basically the, the body contours and, yeah. the, and the, uh, the headstock shape will be the starting point. The fretboard is blue rich light, apparently. Oh, right. So it's a flame AAA neck, uh, ultra noiseless strap pickups. It's got lots of cool stuff on it. It feels very, well, obviously, it feels very, very different. Um, even without even touching the fingerboard, just the side of the board feels. This is something we don't often see as well with Fender Custom Shop, but they're stainless steel frets oh, are they? as well. So it's an ultra modern. Strat, isn't it basically? So it's looming lay uh, inlays as well. What is going on with well, the uh, skunk stripe on the back? I'm trying to find that on the. Uh, well, it, it, it's almost think? solid black. I wonder if that in is color. like um, uh, rich light as well. Well, do you specs. know what? There's probably more detailed. Whatever's going on, I like it. I can get on board with this. I mean, I wonder how it's going to sound. It's quite heavy, not uh, um, offensively so, but it. Let me feel it. I'd be interested to get it on the scale. That is light, Jack. That is very light. All right, well, you've been to the gym more. Yeah, well. Than... But pretty cool. Well, I think that's a ripper. I think that's great. Yeah. 
That is a cool looking guitar. Okay. That's all right. Okay. Ooh. Oh, nice. I think this is one of those limited edition kind of, I think they were called bone tone straps. Did Greg Cook play one of these back in the day? I think he had one like this, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I remember seeing, uh, yeah. shout out to Greg there. Gregorian. I seeing some of his old videos where he had a blue strat and a, a surf green telly, I think, which were yeah, so, similarly specced. So, yep, I am right. Uh, so it's, a, it's basically a 60s strat, but with a maple neck. Remember we had, uh, I think there was a shell pink one that we had with, yeah. the, with the gold, and I believe we had a sunburst as well. So it's essentially a 60s style strat, gold hardware, but with a maple right. neck. And it's got those bone tone pickups, which were the pickups that were originally designed for the Gary Moore strat. Oh, okay. As well, so right. something, uh, something, you know, a little bit different. They're, they're actually a bit more of an underwound pickup, the bone tones. They're not super duper hot, but they sound really, kind of really nice and chimey. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's nice. got a compound radius. Feels going great. Going from 7.25 to 9.5. Uh, the oval C neck profile. Nice. I mean, I, I like guitars like this that are just unusual. Yeah. You don't really see. Well, it looks like a like uh, almost like a guitar that's been put together out of someone's two favourite guitars, almost, yeah. doesn't it? With the uh, with the maple neck. I love the gold. Yeah. Love gold hardware. Ooh. Ooh. It's got a reverse, a reverse wonky. Now for such a simple guitar, the Telecaster, I never quite understand what's going on with these slight variants with the pickup. So you've got an uncovered neck pickup, yeah. a reverse angle bridge. I mean, what's going on? Is that, so in essence, is that the same standard Telecaster neck pickup just without No, because I think cover, yeah, or is the it pole pieces, uh, they're different magnets. So I believe these pickups, they are really designed to be a really strong sounding kind of like an, almost between like a Strat and a P90 kind of oh, right. pickup. And, the, and then the bridge is, is like kind of mirrored to reflect that as well. So they are actually Tomatillo pickups, right. which we've seen the Strat pickups before. I don't think we've had any tellies with this pickup arrangement. I really remember any? No, no I, I, I don't know, I'm afraid. I don't know, but... Well, you would know. You've played them on. Well, I'll just plug them in and, and hope that they, uh, hope that the pickups they go, work. Doink, 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 that sort of sound. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Um, Natural blonde. Well, I've always... favourite kind of blonde. Oh, yeah. Uh, I've always really appreciated these back... I've played a few tellies like this recently yeah. with, the, with the reverse angle pickup. So you see it on strats a lot. Until recently, anyway. Like genie style sort of strats, aren't they? Yeah, so in essence, you get a little bit more treble response out of the lower strings yeah, and more and a warmth. Bit sweeter, yeah, yeah. Out sweet, of the, yeah, uh, yeah so, I well, think that's a nice looking guitar, that. It is. Ash body. Yeah, flip it around, Jack. You see that's some really nice grain on the back there. I think that's lovely, that. So that's compound radius on this one, so the 7.25 <coughs> to 9.5. Um, sorry if you did already say, but it, it feels like a 50s kind of profile. 57 soft V. Nice. It's like the slightly weird cousin of that first 52 that we had. Yeah. Similar like colour. It. It's really nice. So similar tint. Very, to the neck. very, very lightly relict, isn't it, as well? Yeah. It's still still classed as a relic finish rather than the journeyman relic, but I think that's a it's a great looking guitar that. It is. Oh, okay. It's the same guitar. It is the same Just guitar. Just a different colour. Um I'm gonna I'm gonna say oh, it's I think a nicer one colour. of those. Um I think this is going to be one of those ones where someone goes, that's not actually blue, but it is called blue or yeah. green. Yeah. Yes, it is. It's, it's uh, I got it right. It's Tomatillo green. And yes, we know it isn't green, but Fender say it is, so it is. It looks like an old egg. Yeah. That's what I'd describe that as. But I really like it. it really, especially offset with the pure white guard. Yeah. Same pickup arrangement as before. So the uncovered... Neck pickup and the reverse angle. Uh, when, when we get Aiden to do the, uh, the post on the social media for this guitar, I'm not letting him put the colour because everyone will just go, that's old, not green. Old egg. That's, yeah. yeah, old egg. Yeah, no, he can put it as that <laughs> colour. It's not Tomatillo green, it's old egg. Well, very nice. So, pretty much everything we said about the last guitar, I would presume, rings true. Yeah, so it's same, exact, uh, exactly the same spec. Okay, very well, nice. that's not a bad way to, uh, to end things right there.